Hey guys, Nintendrew here, and as you may have noticed, I've been working on a brand new DIY project just in time for Super Mario Odyssey. What you just saw is all real. Uh, in other words, this cappy hat really can control lights, household appliances, and other smart home devices. So in this video, we'll take a look at this Odyssey-themed smart home controller, and I'll show you how you can make something like this at home. So to get started, we'll need a few materials. Uh, first, you'll need a couple of smart plugs. And basically, these are just outlets that you can plug in and control over Wi-Fi with a smartphone app or with a home assistant like Amazon Echo, if you have one of those. Uh, the ones I'm using are from Wemo, and it may be possible to do this with other brands of smart plug, uh, but just for ease of use and for the sake of getting everything set up, I chose to use the, the Wemo brand. And as always, I'll leave links to all these products in the description below. Next we'll need, of course, a cappy hat, and you can buy these or you can make one at home if you're feeling crafty. Or, of course, you don't need it at all if you don't want to use it. You can just build the core of this project without the hat, or you can build it into an object or any sort of toy, whatever you want to use. Uh, in this case, I chose to use cappy because I wanted to fit the Super Mario Odyssey theme. Now, for the next item, uh, if you have a sharp eye, you might have noticed this in the intro. These are NFC tags, and NFC stands for Near Field Communication, which is the same technology that Nintendo uses in their Amiibo figures. And finally, you'll need an Android smartphone. For this project, I just use my Samsung phone, but pretty much any Android phone with NFC capabilities should work. Now, because I know people will ask, uh, as far as I know, there's not a way to do this with an iPhone, but I'm sure if I'm wrong about that, somebody in the comments will let us know. So, so the first step is to choose whatever device or appliance you want to be able to control with Cappy and set it up with the smart plug. I just followed the plug's included instructions to get the device up and running and tested the functionality with the Wemo app on my smartphone. Next, we want to set up a string of events which can be written to an NFC tag so that when we scan it with our phone, it triggers the smart plug. I won't get into all the nitty gritty details in this video, but I will leave more information in the description below along with links to all the apps that I use to achieve this functionality. The gist of it is when we tap the phone to the NFC tag, the phone will read the tag with the NFC trigger app, which will then send an event to the tasker app, which will finally broadcast an Android intent to toggle the Wemo smart plug from the Wemo manager app. Whew, <laughs> once all that's worked out, the smart plug can be fully controlled by tapping the smartphone to the NFC tag. Next, we have to find the right spot to attach the NFC tag to the device that we're going to control. As an example, when I set up the lamps as seen in this video, I just attached the tag to the side of the lampshade. Easy enough. Now here's the tough part. <laughs> uh, finally, we'll take the Android smartphone and secure it in the brim inside of Cappy, screen facing outward. Now, whenever the hat is placed on the lamp, the NFC tag will trigger the phone's instructions to flip the switch. How cool is that? One other thing I'd like to mention is, like I said earlier, these NFC tags use the same technology behind Nintendo's Amiibo figures, uh, so we can also do some other pretty cool stuff with this sort of setup. For instance, I can turn off the lights in a room when I tap the Boo Amiibo to my phone. Or turn on my Switch by scanning Zelda. Once you get into it, you can set up some pretty cool behavior, so I hope you guys have fun with that. All right, that's about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to Nintendrew for all sorts of cool gaming content, and make sure to share it with any friends who might find it interesting. As always, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the video, and if you'd like to see any other sort of projects on the channel, and otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this new DIY project and for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you like what I'm doing and would like to help out the channel, I've got a link to my Patreon on the right side of your screen, and otherwise I hope you'll look forward to the next one. Take care.